what should we start today with? Some Elijah Craig C919 barrel proof? I don't know. How about some George T. Stagg 2019 BTAC collection? Eh, maybe not just yet. I know. Let's start it off with the Oak and Bond Scotch Whiskey Barreled Aged Columbia Coffee. That's the way to start a day. Oak and Bond Coffee Company was founded to provide the finest coffees from around the world. Our barrel aged coffee line is handcrafted to allow for the coffee beans to absorb the optimal flavor from the once used oak barrel. The exceptionally rich flavors of our barrel aging creates a bond of both coffee and barrel, which we know you will enjoy. Hello again, whiskey tippers and spirit sippers. One one back at you again, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We got another Christmas gift that we're going to be trying out, and this one's not exactly whiskey. It's not exactly bourbon. It's Scotch coffee. Oak and Bond Coffee Company. Sounds interesting. I think this is going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, anybody who knows me, I absolutely love coffee. If I could, I'd just hook it up intravenously and drink it all day. I drink it all day anyway, but uh, I, I drink all kinds of coffee and probably spend a little bit, <laughs> just like whiskey, I spend more on coffee than I probably should, but hey, I really like it, so why not? And the craziest thing is, is I like a little bit of coffee with my cream and sugar, <laughs> so it's like, it's ridiculous. I could probably use anything, but I don't know, you really can taste it no matter how much cream and sugar you put in it so i like getting a whole bunch of different stuff like the good stuff and we're going to be trying a new one today oak and bond coffee finest quality barrel aged whole bean scotch whiskey barrel aged columbia coffee that is a mouthful this is going to be sweet <laughs> barrel origin it says scotland i don't know if that, how much of that is true or not but yeah i can't wait to break into this and check this one out so nothing left to it but to do it let's open this bad boy up it's actually sealed, and uh, I like how it's just all bottled up like an actual whiskey or bourbon. Woo! Hello! I guess that's the pop. <laughs> Ripped my nail off doing that. I guess I should have pulled that off a little better. Ooh, fancy. Oak and Bond Coffee Company. Look at that. Got a fancy little gold clip up there at the top, huh? Made in the USA, so I don't know if it was really bottled in Scotland or if the barrel really came from there, like it said. Hmm. <laughs> see if we can open this up. Ooh, man, I just pierced the bag right there and the aroma instantly. Oh, like raspberries and cherries and chocolate. Like chocolate covered cherries or raspberries. Oh, <laughs> this might be really good grab some scissors so we can not make a complete mess out of this. Let's see, you can see the color of these. Oh, the aroma on this is absolutely amazing. Like I said, just chocolate and raspberries and cherries. Unbelievable. It doesn't seem to have that oily sheen over the beans. It's like a nice matted texture. Uh, I think these are, this is <laughs> so far so good. I think this is going to be delicious. What I usually keep my beans in are these freeze containers. It's got the little air hole at the top and a little date up there so it lets you know when it's time to change the filter. And Does it really help? I don't know. I stay up with it and my coffee is always really fresh and delicious. So does it work? Do I need it? I don't know. I keep doing it. Maybe. <laughs> I just put a little rubber band around my container and then I cut out whatever it is that it is so I know what's in the container always because I, I have a couple of these and that way I know which one I want to drink so yeah just cut that out stick it under the rubber band you always know which one's which. Just like that now there's nothing left to do but go grind them up and taste these bad boys. Alright smells good looks good let's get a pour. Oh yeah, like I said, uh, it's tamped down a little bit with the water in it, but it definitely still has a little bit of those chocolate notes to it. Like I said, I usually drink a little bit of coffee with my cream and sugar, but we're going to go ahead and try this out for everybody. And cheers. A little bit of that raspberry flavor comes through. Like, I'm going to tell you, I'm not really a big fan of black coffee, but that's not too bad. I thought it'd be a lot heavier, even maybe bring out more of the bourbon or whiskey flavor, but this is almost like a light tea. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say light tea. I mean, it's definitely got that coffee flavor that comes back. But yeah, as far as like the real harsh, 
Uh, maybe that's I was drinking one earlier that I just has really caffeinated. This one, this is a medium roast, so I mean it's right there, but yeah, it's kind of light for a medium roast. I mean, really smooth and easy. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's try it with some cream. But it does, it still has that nice smooth chocolatey, like a chocolate covered cherry smell on the nose. Cheers. Again, kind of a little bit of honey, like a honey raspberry. A bit of a nutty note in there too now. That's weird that the cream brought all that out. There is, there's a bit of a, I don't know, I can't say walnut or pecan, but just kind of a nutty note. Raspberry, chocolate, honey, and nuts. <laughs> well, that's not bad at all. Pour a little bit more of each in there so we can doctor it up just how I like it. <laughs> yes, I don't even know if that's enough. Everybody's like, oh my god, look at all that sugar. I don't know if I put enough in. Let's see how it tastes with a little cream and sugar, just the way we like it. Slendula. That's really good. I'm not really a fan of like buried or like even cho maybe chocolate. I like mochas, but like buried flavors or like weird citrus flavored coffees. I don't really like flavored coffees, but this one's so tamped down and mellow that I don't mind this at all. This is actually really good. I know this is definitely a novelty. She said this is basically like my favorite coffees, which run about $29 a bag. So I'm guessing this is right there around $29, $30, which is expensive. Uh, for $30, I don't think I would buy it again. I'm really gonna enjoy drinking this one. And I don't know, I might, you know, after a couple glasses, I might really enjoy it. But this one's definitely cool for the novelty of it all. And uh, yeah, tastes really good. Can't really complain, it's not a bad taste at all. So yeah, thumbs up to the old Oak Bond Coffee Company, Scotch Whiskey Barreled Aged Columbia Coffee. This one tastes good any way you like it, uh, black with cream or cream and sugar. This one tastes delicious all the way around. So that's a different one with one one. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of the week and until we see you next time, cheers.